Okay folks, I haven't given you a full tour of the garden in uh, quite a while. Um, it's been too hot out here really. I just come out when I have to. And usually it's darn near dark out. So we finally got a break in the weather and it uh, looks like uh, summer's finally coming to an end. We're getting some 80 degree evenings, which is great here in Vegas. Still see see 90s and 100s in the, in the daytime, but it's nice. So I'm gonna do a quick video here, walk around, show you everything. Here's a little tropical area. I got a avocado and a mango and some akira and some citrus and stuff in there. Some pineapples down here. Got a little mister up there keeping everything cool in the afternoons. Come down here, the, the shiro plum. Hopefully I can get some fruit off that next year. It's uh, still growing real well. Sorry about the air conditioner. This is a strawberry guava. Ate some guavas off there. Trimmed down the weeping Santa Rosa plum. Ghost apple is uh, not barely alive, but we'll see what happens. Vernon sapote, happy as can be. Maybe we get some fruits off that next year too. And, uh, Mirabelle plum in the back there, nice and tall. Lemon guava, pineapple guava. Got my grapes getting up my my harbor here. Grapes, on that note though, did not do so well once again this year, overtaken by bugs and wind. Just can't really manage them. I'm not really sure what's going on there. We'll figure it out next year. Rosemary, as happy as can be. Got uh, goji berries coming back for the second coming after the, the uh, summer heats. All the way down here, these are uh, all the Armenian cucumbers and a couple of different kinds of me melons in there growing on my little trellises here over the top of the citrus out of control just cannot keep up eating all those uh, Armenians they grow so well here um, go on down the way here and uh, Anna apple is putting out new growth but it's got some yellowing on it I think we need to put some uh, worm castings or something in there get that happy there's uh, peanuts here in the wine barrel on the corner. You know, Armenian cucumber, that's about, about three days of, of growth from tiny little flower to huge melon. They grow so fast. The uh, gold kiss apricot's been chopped down. Don't you love the crazy look of that? Look back over the garden here. Let's see what we got. It's an alicotti green melon here in this first bed. I think there's one hiding under here. And, uh, peach didn't do so well this year. This is the new peach, the four in one, about nine feet tall. Really looking great. Can't wait to have all the different peaches off that next year. Behind that is the uh, Frederick and Edgeless passion fruits growing on the wall there, out of control vining. We got five or six off of them this year, so hopefully next year we'll really get a, a harvest out of these uh, passion fruits. This is that Royal Crimson Low Chill Cherry, first year in the ground. It's uh, it's surviving. Wouldn't say it's thriving though. We'll uh, we'll see how that does next year. The regular Santa Rosa got a few plums on, down there. These are my uh, strawberries I got off Groupon last year, filling up this wine barrel nicely. And the strawberries in the main bed, direct sunlight, not as happy this time of year. Burned out a little. Thinking about maybe clearing these out this year. I'm not sure what's happening. They might be uh, getting too old to produce as well. Japanese cucumbers eaten up by squash bugs. The, uh, the nectarine here really uh, sprouted off after it dropped its fruit. Same thing with the, the aprium, flavor delight aprium. Uh, my Indian peach that didn't make it. I'm going to replace that in the January. And the brown turkey fig growing out of control. Huge. Gets all crazy like this this time of year, but 
come uh, when it leaf drops, I, I cut it down to about fence height and keep it under control. Got a few more peanuts over here and uh, pomegranate row. Got those cashmere pomegranates still growing along good there. Gonna be eating some of these pretty soon, I think. They're getting nice and big. It's the hot pepper bed. Has uh, sweet 132 melons growing on the bottom there. And uh, these little tiny little pepper guys Come over there. All these are hot peppers in this bed. Some tomatoes, the yellow pear tomatoes that didn't uh, didn't fare so well, but generally they come back in the in the fall. We get some more out of them. Some uh, melons growing here, regular cantaloupes. In this end of the bed. There's a few more over there in their little cages. And uh, kiku chrysanthemums growing up. This taking over this tomato that didn't make it. And this is my best uh, aqua jet bed with the. Uh, peppers growing. I had the best bell pepper performance this year that I've had ever. These these uh, these white ones really did good for me. Turning red like this. I'm trying to get some good seeds off of that one maybe. A few more over there. These, I mean these are taller than any of them that I ever had. I gotta attribute it to the aqua jet for sure. There's some peppers down there that I just didn't pick. Another Kiku chrysanthemum hiding in there. Madhu Ross under here. Mm, looks like that one might be kind of ripe in there. Be eating another one of those. Hey, you see that little squash bug guy? You're not going to live to see the end of that. This was the cluster cherry tomato mm -hmm. here that was probably the best growing one. and Still growing on. We'll see uh, what happens into the into the fall if we get more out of that it is an indeterminate variety so this bed has uh, kiku chrysanthemum melons and uh, Thai basil and uh, another tomato didn't produce so well on this end I'm not sure what kind that was but that's what we got growing on here in the garden sorry for walking around shaking you all over but wanted to give you an update for the end of summer and probably be coming into a few more videos here and uh, fall comes around clearing some of this stuff out. Thanks for uh, watching this here on YouTube. Check me out on Desert to Garden LV on Facebook and Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.